What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here, and I know that uh, some of the third-party ways to get uh, apps working on macOS, specifically Windows apps, haven't been working out too great. Uh, specifically, Whiskey has been giving a lot of issues, so I, just started, I decided to start a new series checking out all the different ways you can run Windows on your Mac, because there are a ton of different ways. The first one is obviously the most popular and stable version, which is Parallels Desktop. Now, Parallels Desktop is super easy to use, and I'm gonna show you how to install Windows 11, as well as uh, basically any other version of uh, an operating system you'd like to. In another video, I'm gonna try installing the 64-bit version of Windows, and in a, another video, I will discuss crossover and other apps like that. So getting right into it, we're going to open up uh, Parallels. I've got it installed and we're just going to go ahead and download Windows 11 from Microsoft. So let's go ahead and click continue and we'll choose install Windows. Now, this version of Windows is the ARM64 version because we are on a metal Mac. So that means that it is going to run the ARM64 version. Um, however, that'll still let you install uh, Steam and all of your apps and everything. Obviously, just the ARM version of Steam. So we're going to explore what that entails, if it lets you play all your games or not. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and try in another video installing the 64-bit version of Windows and trying the uh, virtualization options as well. All right, just like that, uh, it says that... Windows has uh, started, so let's go ahead and press OK, and we'll go right into the installer. You can see it's automatically going through most of the install process for us, and we are uh, now at the part where it's actually installing Windows 11 onto the virtual machine, so let's give that some time. All right, so it looks like that finished, and we are loading right into Windows. So let's go through the out-of-box experience and then uh, install Steam. So it looks like Windows is installed, so let's go ahead and take a look yeah it's here so let's go ahead and install the um, parallels tools because those can add a bunch of features to the device so let's go ahead and hit yes so basically what parallels tools does is it gives it a virtual uh, display and a bunch of other uh, cross compatibility tools so you can actually copy and paste from Mac to Windows and vice versa all kinds of cool stuff so always install this before you start uh, configuring the OS and things like that now it requires a Windows restart let's go ahead and do that all right so now the big question we need to head over to steam powered go over to steam and install it and install and we're gonna run this. I started the process without recording earlier, so I'm actually gonna do that again now. So let's hit next. And once this installs, I'm gonna go ahead and log in on my phone. So let's close Edge and open up the Authenticator. Now what we wanna find out is, we know that Steam is gonna work, but because this is the ARM64 version of Windows, is it going to allow us to install all the games or only the ones with ARM64 ready architecture? Or do they have some sort of like Proton style layer that can convert to uh, ARM64? So let's go ahead and log in here. This is the cool thing is if you actually expand the window, it adjusts the resolution to fit perfectly. That's an awesome feature. All right, so I'm gonna go to my library. And surprisingly, I am the developer of this and I did not release a ARM64 version of this. So it does seem to have some layer allowing you to install most games. But it does seem like the majority of games are going to work just fine on the ARM64 version of Windows, which is nice to see. All right, so it's installed. Uh, now I'm going to choose a game that's small so that we can quickly install and see if it works. Uh, Eidolon I play quite a bit, so this will be nice to have. Let's go ahead and see if this runs. All right, so we're hitting play. We are on the ARM64 version of Windows, and let's see what it's like. Just like that, the game works fine. Parallels is honestly the easiest way to get games running. I'm super stoked that uh, Steam and all the Steam games work on ARM64 uh, Windows because that means you can directly or at least very closely uh, virtualize the Windows instance on your Mac, on your Metal Mac, and uh, get some pretty close to native performance, which is awesome to see. You are going to be limited by uh, your graphical memory, depending on how much you actually have, but those can also be configured in the settings if you have uh, or want to add a bit more. But yeah, that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. I'll put a link to Parallels in the description below. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a good one. Peace.
the games to interviews with a broader view. He keeps it fresh, always brings something new. It's Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, uh. Mike the Tech, the architect, uh. Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, yeah. Mike the Tech, the architect, uh. 